Hi, this is Arthur from TTMMinistry.com. Today I'm going to share a message about foodaholic versus alcoholic. What is the definition of addiction? Addiction is the repeated, repeated, remember that, repeated involvement with a substance or activity, it can be like gambling or drugs, despite the substantial harm it now causes because that involvement was and may continue to be pleasurable and or valuable. Something becomes an addiction when you are not able to control it anymore. It becomes excessive. It's more than you need. That is when something becomes an addiction. A person, the Bible says, a person without self-control is like a city with broken down walls. Proverbs 25 verse 28. You see, if a person has no self-control anymore, they are doomed for destruction. It is like a city without walls. If a city has no walls, it means that it is only a matter of time, and their enemy will come to steal, kill, and destroy. That's John 10.10. 10. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 till 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and says here and self-control against such there is no law part of the fruit of the spirit is self-control so lack of self-control is very flashy which the bible condemns and considers to be a sin i remember this quote from elizabeth elliot that's the wife of the missionary that was killed we cannot give our hearts to god and keep our bodies for ourselves. Very powerful, so true. Our bodies belongs to God too. The word of God says it's a temple, temple of the Holy Spirit. So what is the difference between an alcoholic and a foodaholic? To be honest, there is no difference. Both are wrong and need to be repented of. We all know and are aware that being an alcoholic is a problem. But I don't think that many are aware that overeating is just as bad. If you are overweight and have a habit of overeating, take action today and start taking control of your life. Don't let the enemy steal, kill and destroy in your life. It's very simple. Just repent. Ask God to set you free from this addiction. And with God's grace, you will be able to get control back in your life again and you can start living towards God's goal for your life. Repent and ask God to set you free from this addiction. You will need God's grace to get you back on track again so you can pursue your God-given call. This is another quote. God created it. That's your body. Jesus died for your body. The Spirit lives in it. So we better take care of it. I hope this was helpful. For comments, questions, or suggestions, please contact me at teachingthenations.com or email me at info at ttmministry.com. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, God bless. This was Arthur from ttmministry.com.